Welcome to the universe. Billions of stars, trillions of planets, spread across countless galaxies. But so far, as far as we know, just one world with life on it. Ours. But that Earth truly is alone seems incredibly unlikely. So could there be other reasons why extraterrestrials haven't yet come into the light? This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, is the government secretly communicating with aliens? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Alien government conspiracy theories are hardly rare in the modern world. All over the map, there are claims that the people in power might know more about existing ETs than they're willing to reveal. But nowhere more so than in the US. In America, alien conspiracies have become something of a cultural trademark. Ever since the heady days of Roswell in 1947 and UFOs over Washington in 1952. Today, whether it's Area 51, the USS Nimitz incident, or the revelations about the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, aka ATIP, we're never too far away from the next supposedly state-backed alien cover-up story. The one-time lead of ATIP, Luis Elizondo, has become one of the strongest voices claiming that the US government already knows that aliens exist. Between the years 2017 and 2020, he also worked with the To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science, through which he pushed hard for full disclosure of alien and UFO information. However, it's not as though Elizondo has ever been out on his own, as it seems there are other senior or previously senior figures prepared to play whistleblower too. In December 2020, a former Israeli defense chief made headlines around the world with some especially spectacular assertions. According to Chaim Eshed, an ex-director of Israel's Ministry of Defense who worked particularly on Israeli space programs, the US government at least, is in direct contact with aliens. Eshed made the claims during an interview with the Israeli newspaper Yediet Aharonat, with his words subsequently republished in the Jerusalem Post. Considering that Eshed had spent a 30-plus year career in a very powerful position, it's little surprise that he caused quite a stir with what he had to say. Eshed claims that America has actually been aware of alien life for a long time and is explicitly choosing to keep that knowledge from the general public. He goes on to explain that the U.S. has made agreements with aliens too and that there is a broader galactic federation that America is in league with. It was even said by Eshed that the U.S. president at the time, Donald Trump, had communicated directly with that federation as well. Trump was allegedly close to blowing the aliens' cover but was persuaded not to do so. Among the other revelations that Eshed makes, both in the first interview and in a follow-up book, is that there's a joint Earth Federation base already built underground on Mars. Also that the US government has worked with the Federation to help with experiments on Earth, and that the overseeing aliens have before had a hand in global affairs to prevent certain nuclear disasters. Clearly, Eshed's claims are hardly minor. This is a one-time leading figure in global security, hitting straight at the heart of UFO conspiracy culture. However, his apparent attempt to break down the veil of secrecy hasn't yet led to a mass breaking of the ranks from others. In fact, in general, the current top brass in America and Israel have sought to distance themselves from the story. At the time of Eshed's interview, the Pentagon refused to comment, while NASA did respond, but only to reiterate that it hasn't yet found signs of alien life. Meanwhile, the Israel Space Agency reportedly reacted in a similar way, denying Eshed's version of events and reconfirming that humans aren't currently in contact with aliens. It's not the first time that these types of claims have been made, although it's perhaps quite rare for them to come from such a high-ranking source. For comparison, one of the most infamous UFO conspiracy claims in the 20th century was one that came to be known as Majestic 12 or MJ-12. The theory erupted in the 1980s, when supposedly genuine government documents led some to severely question the official line. It was said that evidence had been found, in the form of official memos and records, to show that there existed a select secret group of 12 leading figures on Earth tasked with everything from instigating UFO cover-ups to reverse engineering crashed alien tech. And it was claimed that this thing went right to the very top, having been set up by President Harry Truman. A main difference between MJ-12 and Chaim Eshed's interviews, however, is that the basis of MJ-12 was all revealed secondhand 
by various ufologists, insisting that the evidence that they had gotten a hold of really was the real deal. As a result, and after some scrutiny, the Majestic 12 came to be labeled by many as a hoax. And today it's often seen more as science fiction fodder, rather than genuine proof of aliens. But with Eshed, the calls of hoax are much quieter. Here, it's more cut and dry than that. Should the rest of the world believe what he says or not? What do you think? Be sure and let us know in the comments. For now, what we know for sure is that America certainly has tried to contact apparently unknown aliens before via strategies like the Arecibo message and the golden records on board the Voyager probes. But in general, the attempts at communication that have been made as per the official line are more like one-way beacons being flashed out by us into the abyss, possibly, potentially, letting someone else know that we're here. If anything like what Escher says or MJ-12 did exist, then we're imagining a whole new situation. Instantly, the reality of life on Earth could be transformed into all the bleakest aspects of a mass control dystopia. It really would be that governments are self-serving, wholly untrustworthy, and finely skilled at hiding the truth. It actually would be that humans, in general, are powerless beneath a highly advanced watching alien force. However, there is perhaps hope to be found through one final part of Eshed's 2020 interview because he also hints that the claimed Galactic Federation have simply been waiting for us to reach an advanced enough stage of development before revealing themselves. Eshed doesn't go into great detail, but this could fall in line with something like the zoo hypothesis, where intelligent aliens will only break cover once they're satisfied that human beings are prepared to take that next step. The wider suggestion apparently being that any existing agreement between the US and an alien force is there as a kind of placeholder before we move to a bigger, better, more official, and open relationship. So what's your verdict? Could something as incomparably massive as alien life really have been hidden by the government or governments from us, the watching world? On the one hand, it's arguably hard to fathom in America especially, as the US administration changes so often. Some presidents have found their terms more closely linked with alleged alien activity, while some others haven't. In recent times, the likes of Bill Clinton and Barack Obama have given interviews where they touch upon the alien question. But in all cases, the answers given tend to be vague at best. There's also the issue of amateur astronomy to consider, which has risen dramatically in the 21st century. More than ever before, the general public has turned its eye to the skies above, leading some UFO skeptics to suggest that we should by now have more of those coming forward with solid alien proof. The likes of NASA and the US authorities still remain world leaders for space research and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, but private firms are now making a major impact in the field as well. In theory then, all it would take is one of those to speak out, or for something to be spotted through someone's home telescope setup, or for a president to shun the status quo and reveal what they know, and suddenly the theorized cover-up gets broken wide open. Of course, none of those things has quite happened yet. But certainly, Hayam Eshed's comments go hugely against the grain. Could they yet go down in history as a key moment in our story? It remains to be seen. But that's why some believe that the government is secretly communicating with aliens. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.